Good morning, um, Time for a book recommendations video. This was one of the first videos I've ever filmed, and I haven't um, filmed one recently, so I thought I would sit down with you guys and film a quick one. I will list the books that I talk about down in the description box, but please do share your favorites also recently. I would love to hear it. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first is a series. It's the um, um, Rain Wild Chronicles by Robin Hobb. I told you guys about the Live Ship Trader series that I really, really loved. So this is kind of like a sequel, kind of not. Um, so <laughs> let's take a random tangent. You know how Kurt Sutter is talking about doing um, like an offshoot of Sons of Anarchy, but with the Mayans? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll come back to this in a second. But that's kind of the idea here. So this, this story happens after um, the Live Ship Trader series, but it's with people that like are kind of on, on, like you meet some of the people in the story, but the main characters are people you haven't met and kind of are on the side of it. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying it. I've already finished the first one and they're a big volume. So I finished it um, over the course of a weekend. I will say the first one's a little bit slow getting into it, so be patient with it. But um, so far they're really great books. And if you kind of like fantasy and good writing, I would highly recommend these ones. Um, the other ones that I don't have in front of me to show you right now are the Before Watchmen series. So um, the Watchmen itself, which is this guy right here, I do recommend. Um, I've been getting more into like graphic novels and that kind of thing, and it wasn't totally my deal, but um, I've had some really great recommendations and I've really been enjoying them, mainly due to Noelle, whose channel I'll link down below. Um, and then just like random people I've been at the big bookstore have been like, oh, you should try this or read this, and it's, I loved it. Um, I never thought that there could be so much kind of political thought behind graphic novels, and that was totally ignorance on my part. But um, especially something like Watchmen, there's a bigger um, societal kind of, this is one of the darker ones, and it kind of pokes a little bit and makes you question kind of limits of power and authority and violence and it's just it's interesting so this one's a little bit darker so I will give it that <laughs> um, so you kind of have to want to be in that mindset but Watchmen is great and then there's a series called Before Watchmen which is technically um, like prequels so they talk about uh, the main characters kind of before you get to the story in Watchmen, but they're written afterwards, if that makes sense. You're not supposed to know that, but that's the way it happened. Um, I really like the Before Watchmen series also because um, the art on each different character is different, like the kind of artwork and the artists they bring in and the style. So while this one is all in like the one theme, that one has um, kind of a lot of different artwork. So yeah, I really, I really enjoyed that one. Um, another graphic novel that I also don't have because I had to take it back to the library is Sandman. So that one is another one that's quite dark. It's all in black and white. Um, and the ones that I got were like giant mammoth collections, like the volumes. So when you sit there and read them, you feel like it's a whole event. Um, those ones were also really cool. And um, again, kind of darker. Not as political, at least not to me, but kind of darker. But in that way, I don't know, really interesting. I really enjoyed them. Um, anything by Amy Bender is my next recommendation. Sometimes I just don't have the time to sit and read an entire novel and so I love reaching for short stories and I've been reading a lot of Amy Bender's work. Um, she's got a lot of nice collections of short stories and they're different than anything I've read before but um, I do recommend them. The next one I do have in front of me, let me pull it out. Next one is this one, It's Your Beauty Mark by Dita Von Tees. Um, it's kind of her view on beauty, kind of a biography, kind of not. Um, there are moments where I'm like, okay, now, Dita, like, it's okay, we can calm it down. Um, <laughs> there becomes a little bit, not preachy, but... Mm, do you guys know how sometimes in, in biographies it can get a little bit, a little bit... Mm, a little bit preachy, a little bit like I know best kind of thing. So it teeters a line. It's not it's not horrible. It teeters a line, especially when it talks about skincare and you know and that kind of thing and kinda of wants a issue more of like I, I've got this, I know the right way. I'm like, this is your opinion, it's cool. And she's got a really interesting story. So um yeah, I do like it. That was just my little tiny caveat. But it's and it's a beautiful book. It's got some really lovely um images. <sighs> well, it's got some really lovely images and like it's a nice hefty book so I have been enjoying that one and then the last one that I want to mention is by Dave Eggers it's a hologram for the king um, Tom Hanks came out with a movie recently based on this book um, I actually like how pretty this book is itself 
but um, Dave Eggers is a, is a beautiful novelist and this book is no exception. Um, I really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed the movie. The end of the movie was not kind of my favorite. I was with it all until the end. Um, but uh, the book is beautifully written and it's an interesting and different story. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting something more political and more kind of... Um, not judgmental, stereotypical maybe, um, but it's, it's just a story about people. And I love when, and that sounds really silly, but it was kind of the same reason I like the film Whiskey Tango Foxtrot about the Afghanistan war, because any time you break down something that has such a, such a big stereotype in popular culture, culture any time you break it down, you just make it a story about people and, and the normalcy of it all and the struggles that they go through, you kind of break down the stereotype and the image and you're just like people are people and we all have our things and um, I don't know I enjoyed it for that reason so yeah let me know what you guys have been reading what you recommend um, I'm gonna head out but uh, before I do that I'm just gonna put some positivity my first is this video I haven't filmed one of these in a while and I've missed it so it was nice to get to do that today my second point of positivity has been a nice uh, productive week which always leaves me in a good mood and my third point of positivity is a run I haven't been out running for a couple days and I'm, I'm planning to go out and run this afternoon so I'm excited to do that um that is it for me today as always please let me know what's making you guys smile thank you for hanging out I will talk to you ever so soon but before I leave you as always let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick bye guys